Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with Elon where I'm going to be showing you guys some obstacle updates of what he's been practicing. So here he is at an obstacle practice where we're schooling over some of the different bridges and things. He's going to do something super ridiculously cute at the water so make sure you keep watching so you can see that. You can see how much more careful he is over the wood bridge instead of Timmy. That was his first time doing the bridge and he just goes right up and on through the water box again he just kind of looks at it a little bit and then goes right through so he seems to be pretty brave about quite a few things he tends to do them relatively quickly and over the other little bridge which is across water the things that he tends to be more spooky at are things like um, people going too close to his butt or things where he thinks that maybe he'll be hurt by a person or somebody kind of coming at him but the obstacles he seems really naturally kind of brave at and thinking for so I think he's gonna make a good little extreme cowboy mount in terms of how willing he is at the different obstacles the one downside to him is he's because he's a thinker he's kind of slow so he's not gonna move particularly fast through the obstacles but as his confidence grows that's gonna get better and better as well because for extreme cowboy we need them to hustle a little bit through the sideways and the back throughs and things like that so tires no problem turnaround no problem here's a look at the little carousel which he is not actually super careful about his feet he kind of ticks most of the poles as he goes around but he's not scared of anything he's just working his way through and the obstacle park that we're at is called white haven and so we came here about a week or so before there was a competition so i'm going to show you guys the footage of the competition as well so i decided to take them here so that way they could go over some of the obstacles i really wanted to set them up for success for their first show because when you compete you go into the ring and then there's no opportunity to school over the obstacles if something doesn't go well and i wanted to make sure that they had been exposed to a lot of things you don't always get to go to the competition venue and school those obstacles ahead of time but i thought for their first time ever doing a mountain trail type obstacle course let's set them up for success so we went all the way out here it's a about a five hour round trip plus you know the time there and the baby and everything so it was a pretty long day and we came out did the obstacles they've got some stuff that's familiar like this is a suspension bridge and we have one of those at home and then they have a bunch of stuff that's not familiar and some of the things that the horses struggled with as well here's a log pick where the horse is supposed to be careful about where they're putting their feet as they go through but you can see Elon actually does a really nice job there of looking where he's going and then we get to the water and he does struggle a little bit at first he's not sure he should go in it he jumps across it and it is kind of scary water in the sense that it's a little bit muddy looking so they can't see the bottom they don't know if it's safe or not once he started to go in he had a really good time splashing himself getting his belly wet he thought that was pretty fun and he's going to work his way through it's his second time through the water that you definitely want to watch because he's a bit of a goofball and I'll show you guys that coming up in a second after he uh, works his way through here. So we go through the water pretty easily in the whole scheme of things that was a pretty easy work through the water. Some horses can take a lot longer to get through that. The second time through he kind of sniffs a little bit and then he's like oh I don't really know if I want to do that. And I just kind of patiently say, yeah, remember we go, we go through the water and I just be persistent with him. And then he decides to go in, has fun with his splashing, gets his belly wet. And then he kind of decides, you know what would be an easier way to get my belly wet is to just lay down in the water. <laughs> so, and I just had to smile and laugh. I haven't actually taught him to lay down yet. So I definitely didn't want to discourage that in any way, shape or form. But I also wasn't in a position that I could go over and give him a cookie easily. So I just kind of let him lay down and get back up on his own. But I thought that's really cool that he's gotten to the point where he feels comfortable to lay down in my presence. That's a really good step, a really good indicator, a great sign of, of just how far he's come. Here's a different obstacle here. He tried to go off the side. And I think that's probably the most confusing part for him is when I don't do the obstacles with him or I have a little bit of a distance and he thinks he's supposed to follow me and instead teaching him to kind of follow the path. 
this is kind of a, a neat path here. He comes off the side there because he came down the hill a little bit too quickly. So I'm just going to reposition him and put him back on the path where he's got to go over the little logs and, and work his way through a little bit. Go up over the mound and then there's a ditch. It's a really cool obstacle park, this White Haven obstacle park. Lots of obstacles, lots of water crossings, lots of distractions. There's cows in the nearby field on the other side and some really neat bridges and things. They've really done a great job of putting together a great variety of obstacles. Some of them that are very natural looking and then some of them are that are very much more man-made looking as well. As we work our way over here, I wanted to try doing the water going the opposite way as well. So he tries to copy me and go across the side and I just have to kind of reposition him a little bit. His back feet are actually in the water as I'm repositioning him. And again, that's just a little bit of him, I think, being confused. Do I follow my handler or do I go in the water myself? I'm definitely not going in the water. I do not have my rubber boots, but also it's a good way to start to get them to have their own confidence to do the obstacles themselves. You don't want to always do every single obstacle with the horse, with them. You want them to start to go at a distance from you and that helps them for the riding part of the obstacles. So we go over to the pool noodles and it actually takes him a little bit of time to feel comfortable doing the pool noodles. And we, have, we don't really have sideways noodles this close together. And they do have the ability that you can make them wider, you can pull them out. But he was doing a pretty good job of trying and thinking, so we just gave it a little bit of time. And then he got brave enough to go through on his own. And he does a great job with that. We went through both ways. And there's not just the pool noodles, they've got those little flappy things. I don't know, it's like they put I don't know if it's tape or streamers, but anyways, they've got flappy things on them as well. So it's a pretty scary obstacle. It's definitely kind of intimidating for them. So he goes through, I have him go through a couple of times. And then after he goes through with me, I build him up. So that way I ask him to go without me. So you can say I passed the rope bes between the pool noodles there. And then I just used my stick there to just block him using it as an extension of my arm. And if you're wondering what the banging is going on in the distance, the house edition is really coming along and they are working away back there. So that's what's going on in the background if you're wondering about that banging. Here's a really cool obstacle. It's a barrel that is put on a pole and it's set into the ground there and it spins. The tire kind of helps keep the horse a little bit at a distance and the idea is that the horse pushes the barrel around and the barrel is wrapped in some type of a viney net type thing just to kind of it's supposed to give the illusion of a, tr a tree on a trail that your horse might have to push out of the way on a really crowded trail or something like that that's what it's supposed to mimic and Elon hasn't been taught to push anything with his chest yet so this was the first time teaching him how to do this and kind of a difference between Timmy and Elon here. Elon actually was able to get kind of comfortable with this to the point that he started to take little baby steps and pushing it around. Whereas Timmy didn't get to that point. He he found it a little bit more difficult. He kind of pushed it a little bit, but Elon definitely was more comfortable with this task than Timmy. So they definitely have different strengths and weaknesses. Whereas Timmy, I found, did a better job walking through all the tents and all the people at the shows, whereas Elon was a little bit more jumpy about that kind of stuff. So I'd say Elon's more brave with the obstacles and Timmy's more brave with people now, which is kind of an interesting change of events. Here's just a little look at a black pipey thing doing some sideways, so he does sideways over logs, he does sideways over different objects. So that's all going really, really well. And then we're gonna come over and do this curtain over here. And when we get to the horse show, I'll show you guys that footage at the end coming up here in a minute. The filming angle was not super fantastic. So here you guys get to see a close up of the obstacles and you get to kind of see them work through some things. And then for the actual competition, you won't get to see a whole lot just because of how the obstacles are arranged. So for example, behind that fence there is actually a paddock of horses. So there's a whole bunch of horses out there. So for example, people were allowed to go stand there and watch what was happening. 
so the curtain he took a little bit of time to get that figured out to be able to walk through there but really not that much and the funny thing though he's so short that it didn't really touch him all that much going over all these types of bridges tires all this kind of stuff super easy for both the mustangs they find that stuff really easy and you can see elon's really careful which is nice timmy definitely has a better way of going over the obstacles that will score higher in mountain trail and timmy actually ends up getting first place in the competition and elon ends up getting second place and a big part of that i think is how timmy tends to really put his head nice and low whereas elon tends to keep his head up a little higher he had a little bit of hesitations as well but nothing nothing horrible this one is called the coffin it's actually dug into the ground so the horses have to step down into the object which is always more difficult than just stepping into something asking them to step down into a hole is much scarier they don't know if they're going to fall into the hole they don't know how deep the water is in the box they really have to trust you to go down in there so he steps down nice and carefully and once he realizes that it's not super deep and it's it really is okay just walks right across no problem whatsoever so here's a little bit of footage from the horse show the judge is the person in the cowboy hat there and that's me and elon going off we do um that it's called a dog bone the tire and the gravel pit and we do the curtain we do a couple object obstacles that are really kind of out of view and then this is super zoomed in so it's not the best footage he had a little hesitation at the small bridge there we come to the water box and he goes through, he gives it a slight little sniff and goes through nice and calmly. All of the obstacles he went through nice and calmly, just some of them he gave a little sniff first at or had a, a little look. And as he gets more confident, he won't need to have that time to kind of assess the situation before he steps over. But he's just, he's Elon, he's a thinker, he's smart, he's careful. So he goes through all of those obstacles really nicely ends up getting second place behind Timmy who got first place and it was a decent sized class I think there were eight of us or something like that seven or eight of us so we, there were quite a few of us there they did really well so here's a little video footage of them with their ribbons the little boys all oh, I've got um, Timmy's video footage of his obstacles that I'll do separately and then here's just a short little clip of Elon eating grass at a different horse show I'll show you guys a little look but they're doing awesome and we're starting to get ready for their Mustang challenge. It's gonna be soon.